Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Anaconda. So Anaconda is one of the world's top most data science platform, which is also a distribution of Python and R programming language. So with Anaconda platform, uh, we can install different packages like Spider, Jupyter Notebook and others so that we can work on our Python and data science. So now let's see how to download Anaconda. Go to the browser. On Google type Anaconda here it is press enter on pressing enter you can see anaconda.com is visible this is the official website you will click on it to download here it is so products are visible here let's click on pricing first here different versions are visible when we'll go to bottom we'll be looking for individual edition that will also provide us conda package manager so you can see it is freely available so I'll click on it learn more now you can see your toolkit is visible download freely available it is an open source individual edition easiest way to perform Python and R data science and machine learning on a single machine click on download it's open source freely available on clicking download we are being redirected to the bottom anaconda installers for Windows Mac and Linux so these are the versions available for, for Anaconda which is a Python distribution I'll click on this because we are on Windows 10 64 bit operating system click on it to download it's for 466 MB so it will take ample amount of time on the left bottom you can see the download started you need to wait for a few seconds so guys here you can see we have successfully downloaded Anaconda here is the exe file on the left bottom now click on the arrow and click on open to install let's minimize this so guys now the setup started for anaconda 3 click on next this is the license agreement you can read and after that click on i agree so you need to select the installation type if you want to select for you only click on the first one or if you want to install for all users on this system click on all users let's keep as it is for a single user that is me and click on next now here the location for installation is visible it will install under C users Amit and it will create a new folder Anaconda and Anaconda will get installed in it if you want to change the location click on browse and you can set the location I'll click on cancel keep the location same it will take 2.7 GB and now click on next advanced installation option so here keep the default if you haven't installed python before you need to select this but as i have shown that python is already on my system i won't select this i'll click on install straight away click on install now the installation started you can see the details here wait for a few seconds So guys the installation completed as you can see here it took a lot of time to get installed so if it's taking more time please don't get worried now just click on next now you need to click on next here the installation complete let's just uncheck this and click on finish now we have completed the installation let's go to start here type anaconda on typing you can see first the prompt is visible second the navigator is visible let's just click on navigator now guys here you can see the navigator is visible for anaconda click on ok so guys here you can see some pre-installed applications tools are visible like jupyter lab notebook PowerShell, qt console spider etc here if you need to install any other tool just click on install here as you can see here for Glubase or RStudio so let's close this and go to the prompt yes now go to start type anaconda again here let's go to the prompt here it is so here we have clicked on it let's maximize the font first 20 would be fine space info press enter so you can see the version 4.8.3 successfully installed 
Conda is an open source package manager that gives you a lot of tools packages. For example, just we saw Spider, Jupyter Notebook, Zeta. Now let's open Jupyter Notebook. Type Jupyter Notebook and press enter. Now, guys, you can see Jupyter Notebook started. Let's now create a folder on desktop. Click on desktop. Here to create a new folder, click on new here and folder. Here is our folder now. Select this and you can rename. I'll give this a name like Python projects and rename. Now we have successfully renamed the directory. Minimize this. Here you can see Python projects directory created. Go to the link again. Now click on it. Here let's create a new file. Here you can type a command. Let's say 6 into 3. Now press shift plus enter and the output is visible. Now let's say I'll give it a name a is equal to 5. Now I'll just type a into a into a and press shift plus enter. Now you can see the output is visible in this way. Now what we need to do, you can just give the name demo program. So this is our first demo program rename. Now you can see we have renamed it from here. You can Give save and checkpoint. That's it. Now here you can see our file is visible. So we have worked on Jupyter Notebook as you can see here. And here you can see we created a new directory on desktop Python project. Same is visible. We created a new notebook in Python project and the same is visible here demo program 1. So guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install Anaconda 3 and Windows 10. Then we saw what is Conda and how we can easily install any package so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit thinks thank you